Hey guys, even here, so the Arnold Classic just wrapped up and the winner is Hadi Chupan. And like I said in my pre-judging analysis video, if this show is judged like any other show, then Hadi wins because he was the most conditioned guy, he was definitely more conditioned than Samson, but I thought Samson still had a chance because this is Arnold Classic and we all know that at the Arnold, they're always choosing more shapely guys. However, it wasn't enough in this case. Samson and Hadi were pretty equal in size. There was the thing with Samson's stomach, he didn't control it exactly perfectly, and also Hadi had one leg smaller than the other, so I thought it was in the end shape versus conditioning, and I guess Hadi's shape wasn't as bad as Samson's conditioning was, so he won, and I have no problem with that. I wanted to see Samson win, but he didn't deserve it, he wasn't, he didn't do his homework, he wasn't conditioned enough, and that's why, like I said, he disappointed me in that sense. So I'm a fan of Samson, I wanna see him win, I think he has the best physique in the world right now, but he needs to polish it, he needs to come in conditioned. Now let's go back to this moment when Arnold actually turned Hardy around to show his back which I think was really a cool moment because Hadi did improve that back during this very short prep between the Mr. Olympia and the Arnold, which was pretty insane, but yeah, he actually did that, it was very visible, his back was better, both back double and back lat spread, and guys, if Hadi didn't win this Arnold Classic, there would be probably no chance of him reclaiming his Mr. Olympia title against Derek Lansford, but now that he won this show and that his back is improved and I'm guessing it's gonna be even more improved because Derek beat Hadi based on the back last year and now with his improvements and with a little bit more improvements in the upcoming offseason and prep for the Mr. Olympia it could be enough to dethrone Derek and take his title back because look at this back double like it's definitely much much better the lats were never this low inserted he also brought better conditioning than the Mr. Olympia, so he was also very detailed because of that, but I think he added a little bit of new tissue, so whoever was making fun of Hadi, <laughs> Tiba rowing that way, I guess we were all wrong, I guess it uh, really worked for him, because his back does look better, it's crazy. And so once again, Hadi Chopin won the Arnold Classic 2024, second place was of course Samson Dauda, in third we had Rafael Brandau, in fourth John De La Rosa, James Collins had also cracked that top 5, so it was basically the way I expected based on the pre-judging, not much has changed in the finals, but I gotta say, Kim Williams did something insane to his physique that he actually looked like he could have placed third. He was beating Raphael in all of the front poses and the side poses, you're gonna see in a second, but he was definitely losing a lot of ground in the back poses, but I am sure he did beat John De La Rosa at the finals. It wasn't enough though, because he lost very convincingly against these guys in the pre-judging, and usually pre-judging matters more. Uh, Anton Wayand fell out of that top 6, it seemed like in the beginning, it seemed like he could have been in the top 6, but no, no, Akim was there, so I guess Anton was 7th, I don't know what's the order for the last 3 guys, uh, Justin Rodriguez, Mohamed Chaban and Horse MD, but top 7 is clear, basically, even though we know only 6 spots right now, yeah, Anton was definitely, because he was in a second callout, he's definitely the 7th guy, John De La Rosa at the finals, during the posing routines, he was too oiled up, there was definitely too much glaze, and then when comparison around started, he didn't have any oil. Somebody probably noticed that he had too much oil, so I guess they tried to remove a little bit and they removed basically all of it, so it didn't help him in the finals, but apparently it didn't matter, he stayed in that fourth spot. If he was better at the finals, maybe he could have pushed Rafael for the third, but no, 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 I think Rafael was very firmly, and there was also this call out, there was one two-man call out, only Hadi and Samson, and then the last call out was these four guys, and yeah, Akim was in this call out as well, so I thought Akim climbed up to be fourth, and he was, he was fourth in the finals, you're gonna see a scorecard probably tomorrow, and you're gonna see that, I'm sure he was in fourth, very close fourth in my opinion, because look at this guy, how massive he is, if he had a back, I don't know, he would be third for sure, but he would be battling against Samson and, and, and Hadi, you know, <laughs> because he's that freaking massive, and he sharpened up, he tightened up so much for the finals, it was crazy, 
So yeah, here he was in a very firm fourth, if you ask me. But, you know, the prejudging probably matters more. So they bumped him up only one spot. If the prejudging was the entire show, I think he would be seventh. I think Antoine was sharper in much better conditioning than Akim in the prejudging. But Akim did something drastic and he changed his physique so much. Look at his side tricep. It's arguably the best side tricep here. As well as the side chest. Even in the front double, even though his lats are very high. He looks very good, you know, absent eyes not so much. So yeah, I think at the finals he was fourth, but like overall, considering the pre-judging and the finals, I think six spot uh, seems fair. Alright, so like I said, there was a two-man call-out once again at the finals. Let's check it out. Let's confirm that Hadi indeed has won this show deservedly and you know i have nothing to say really you guys know that i'm a fan of samson i wanted to see him win and i'm guessing arnold did as well because you know arnold he likes you know aesthetic physiques taller physiques more classic lines and uh, hard is a mass monster he won the most muscular award and samson won the best posing award because his posing was so artistic man it was so beautiful and was he less muscular than Hadi? I don't think so, but I couldn't give Samson both awards. Look at Hadi's stomach here. How much he's controlling that midsection, it's insane. For a guy this big, it's really commendable. And again, he brought really good conditioning. Like This was probably his best conditioning with his newly added size. You could say maybe he was more conditioned back in 2019 at the Vancouver Pro, but that was, guys, five years ago. He was a much, much smaller version of himself with newly added muscle, the new version of Hadi, the big version of Hadi, this is the best condition that we ever saw, and it's a, it's a deadly combination, it's, it's hard to beat it, even for Samson, who, as Milo Archer likes to say, and I agree completely, has the best body right now in the world, it's the best bodybuilding physique, if you ask me, and if you ask Milos, and I'm sure many of you will agree, but, you know, he didn't bring it, he did not come in sharp, so he absolutely did deserve a mention in my video about the biggest disappointments, you know, we all wanted to see him finally conditioned, he didn't do it, he didn't bring it, and also, he had a little bit of a trouble controlling the midsection, that's, look, look at Hardy's stomach, look at the vacuum, so yeah, even though I'm a fan of Samson, I can't say anything against Hardy. he deserved this win, he definitely did, I would love to say that there was a robbery or something like that, but it would just make zero sense, you know, I can't say that, it would be just stupid, you know, it, it's not, it's definitely not the case, Hadi deserved this win, congratulations, Hadi Japan, we're gonna have a rematch in two weeks from now in uh, Arnold Classic UK, I'm curious to see if uh, Samson can do something and improve his conditioning enough and potentially beat Hadi at that show, but this time around, if I see them on stage again, and the difference in conditioning is the same, I'm not gonna be saying that uh, Samson can win, I thought so for the Mr. Olympia, I thought so for the Arnold, I guess I see things different way than the judges, but I guess the criteria is clear to me now, conditioning matters a lot, it really matters a lot, and it's not just conditioning, Hadi is just very good overall, so a well-deserved victory, now we have another very, very interesting news, and this is basically a game changer, Mr. Olympia is no longer gonna be the biggest show in the world, at least prize money wise, and at least for now, because Arnold Schwarzenegger just announced that the Arnold Classic 2025 this year the winning prize is $300,000 for the winning, but next year, as you know, the winning prize for the Olympia is $400,000, and I don't feel obliged anymore with the rules. So we're gonna go up to $500,000 for the winner next year for the Arnold Classic. You heard it, guys. You just heard it. Arnold doesn't feel like following the rules anymore. And there was a rule that no other show can surpass the Mr. Olympia prize money. But I guess that changed. Today, the winner of Arnold Classic 2025 he's gonna receive half a million dollars, guys, guys, that's insane, that's crazy for bodybuilding, I guess bodybuilding is growing, and I love the fact that Arnold wants to do this, what I'm guessing is gonna happen is Mr. Olympia is probably gonna have to up their prize money, and hopefully that's gonna have a snowball effect, 
So I'm really happy to hear this amazing news, crazy news. Tell me what you guys think about it in the comment section down below. Once again, Harry Japan won. Tell me what you think about that. And for more content like this, guys, please click that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much. See you soon. All the best and bye bye.